going on? Chris here. Uh, we got a break around like 3 a.m. on the VIX to the downside on the 12-hour market structure break on 12-hour closing basis. And looking at the euro the, for risk on sentiment, it looks pretty good. And then the dollar, we're tapping support here. But the biggest thing I'm looking at is the VIX and the euro. For me, it's good enough. And... <clears throat> Uh, we, if we were to look at just kind of what we got here, we're at the lows here. Uh, I got my Fibonacci uh, forecast line. I think I'm going to be buying around 40, 39.45. Uh, we've got news at 10 a.m. But uh, with us being so close or underneath uh, weekly support and us being, uh, so 39.45 be right here. Uh, with us being so close to weekly support in the middle of the week, I think it's time for shenanigans. I think it's time to fake people out. And we're so close to the bear trap here that uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a bear trap and we uh, played the weekly range and we could go as high as 4061. We could go as high as 4042, uh, which is the previous Wix low, or 4047. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just kind of seeing what's what's here uh, near these lines in 4061, 4042. But it's a good risk to reward. And uh, you know, I got these oscillators on the weekly. It's pinching. It's basically implying volatility is coming. And then if price actually does go up, it's gonna pinch up here on the daily, and it's just gonna be a really strong uptrend. So my goal is just I'm just gonna play play the trade if we go down here start building a position going long and hopefully we go really quick uh with the monthly open uh march 1st uh going into the um i don't know 12th or 13 whatever so uh things to back that up we got the math cycles we got the ai cycle with the q spectrum 2 uh just going straight up basically up till 319 trading spectrum basically same thing uh and then um Decennial, the 10-year annual uh, cycle, uh, topping out at 312 to 315, 16. So I think that's kind of what we're expecting. We're, we're just going to play the monthly open. We're going to go bullish. We're going to fill the weekly range, and that's what we're going to do. And then once we get to the top of the weekly range, we're going to sell. Because that's kind of what's hitting. This is hinting at. Plus... We got the institutions. If we look at institutions, they're they're long right here. So I'm not going against the institutions. I'm not going against the math or the AI. And uh, we're, we're picking the best risk to reward if we get down here. Um, so that's kind of just all our homework. And we're going to see if it works. Uh, we're going to play some market structure breaks to the upside to just really guarantee, you know, quote unquote, it's not like build more confidence of just increasing bullishness to scale in our position to the upside and we're going to see what happens but uh, thanks for watching